how are you feeling about this season? How's preseason gone? How are you feeling? Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Like you said, it's going to be my first full season. And um, now we did everything that we could to get ready. And um, I think Saturday is going to be... The first game, it's always important. We play home with our fans. We got a new team, so we want to do really well. Absolutely. You have a, a new campaign. Uh, I've been to that stadium. I know the fans. It should be a fun atmosphere. Let me ask you something, Christian. You only joined last summer, but you've had a time to now acclimate yourself, understand the team a little better. What are your thoughts on MLS and your, your, new, your new chapter again of your life in, in Major League Soccer? I'm excited. I'm excited about it. I think MLS the last couple of years been um, growing really well, and it's a, it's a good league with good players. I will. I was surprised. It's kind of physical. So really, um, yeah, it's going it's going to be it's going to be fun this uh, this season. But Kristen, you're a physical guy. It really MLS surprised you the physicality of it. Yeah, because I I didn't I didn't expect that the league was going to be physical. It's uh -huh. not that I'm um, not physical, but this is why I'm seeing that it's a physical league as well, which is good. Christian, I know you're not. You are physical, my friend. Remember, we we love you at Villa Park. Uh, you're very very physical, of course. I'm going to try very hard not to mention Villa. I promise. All right. So, how's life in DC, by the way? Do you like it? Do you like living in America? Yes, it's nice. It's nice. It's different than Europe. And I wanted something different. So I think by coming here, this is why this is why I got. So I'm happy. Is there a is there an affluent Belgian community in the capital of the US? Or do you have you found that or not really? I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm someone who likes to be home, so <laughs> all right. What's it like to work under Wayne Rooney, Christian Betek? Because this is a player that you faced in the Premier League, obviously one of the greatest of his generation. What's it like to 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 play under him? I think it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure and it's a, it's an honor to play to play under under Wayne. Uh I played against him a few times, but I didn't know him as a manager. And uh, I was kind of impressed because he's someone who gives you a lot of confidence, who is always positive, who he tries to help. It doesn't matter the senior players or the young players. So I think it gives the, the confidence to the team. And I think it's important because we got some young players as well that they need to have some advice. And coming from him, it, it's easy to take. Absolutely. And I'm imagining, Christian, because you're a striker yourself, it's good to have a manager that was a striker. I guess that you you share some good intel from Wayne Rooney. No, I think he helps. He helps. Sometimes he gives me some advice as well. And uh, obviously, he's the, the best person to listen <laughs> to. So. And, and listen, if the league is physical, I think there's no better manager than Wayne Rooney to help you with uh, being a little physical. As long as you don't see a red card, Christian Benteke. 100%, 100%. <laughs> Listen, let me ask you something. Um, you know, you're you're a very unique striker, I think. Uh, you know, obviously physical, good in the air, but also really good with your feet. I've obviously throughout your career, we've seen that. Did you model yourself after a striker growing up, did you have somebody as a kid that you looked up to? Or, or was it just, you know, no, this is me. I'm Christian Benteke uh, and I'm my own man. No, I was, I'm a big Thierry Henry fan. That was the, the player that I was looking to. So when he was the assistant manager, obviously, and the, for Belgium, that was a, a lot to you then, I guess. No, yeah, it was kind of a dream coming true. <laughs> like all my... Youth, I've been just watching him. I knew his celebration. I knew kind of all of his goals. Looking and up then, to him, right. Yeah. But you don't, but you do the LeBron James celebration. You don't do the Tier and celebration. <laughs> no, no, no. Now, then, now, now I change. Obviously. Now you change it. Now you change it. That's right. Um, listen, let me ask you something. Um, what do you hope? Because it's a new league. For you, relatively new. I'm sure you're meeting new types of players and, and teammates. What would you hope players take from your game? What do you want other players to learn from you, I guess? Um, that I'm going to be demanding. I'm, uh, obviously, I've been so many years in the Premier League. When I came from Belgium, I was like, like a kid. 
Yeah. And then I've learned through those years that for us in Europe, uh, football, it's more than just a sport. Yep. It's, uh, it means it means a lot. So I want to help the boys to, to trust me so I can trust them as well. And uh, yeah, because hey, we don't go down. So in a way, sometimes we can be more relaxed and I want to bring that different uh, kind of mentality from Europe to, to, to the US. And that's important because DC United have not, I told this to Wayne Rooney, you know, you, and you know this, you haven't, the club hasn't made the postseason in the last three seasons. It's time to change that, right? Exactly. And I think we got, we got a great squad. So I think all the boys, we are all excited for, for this new season. Fantastic. All right. Let, let me switch gears for a little bit, Christian Benteke. Obviously, you know, nearly 50 appearances for Belgium, a very important part for the national team for so many years. Obviously, very proud of, of being a Belgian international and, and, and Belgium being such a, a great team in Europe. Obviously, the things didn't go to plan in Qatar. I, I just wanted your thoughts about it and, and where you thought it went wrong with uh, Belgium's golden generation? I think it's difficult to say when you are not involved directly. Mm. I was watching from, yeah, from the TV. But obviously you could see that the um, the boundary uh, was not there. Mm. So I think, and when you play a World Cup, it's so uh, short. It's maybe three weeks, four weeks max. If you don't get it right, mm. From the first day, then you're just running behind, and then it, it starts to be difficult. Yeah, you got to get going on day one, minute one. Otherwise, things are not going to click. Right, right, right. Okay, so obviously, Villa aside, I know that you also support Arsenal. Benteke, is that because of Thierry Henry? Uh, I used to, but not no. Not, oh, now you're okay. No, no, no. I don't support a, a team. I would say, but I just like to watch. A, you football. like to watch them. Is there any? Is there any team right now that you really like watching these days? Probably Manchester City. Just the way they play, the Pep Guardiola. Yeah, because of Pep, the, the way the way they play, yes. Yeah. Do you think uh, who's winning the Premier League in your opinion? City. Oh yeah, you think that that win against uh, Arsenal was an important one then. Yeah, it was. But obviously, you've got three months to go. And in the Premier League, it's long. So I don't know if Arsenal will be able to um, sustain stay calm and yeah. to maintain uh, the level that they've been producing this season. Right, right. All right. I have to ask you this. Obviously, uh, Unai Emery, now the manager of Aston Villa, what would you make of that team? Do you like that? Do you like him as a manager? What do you think? I think Una Emery is a great manager. I think he shows uh, he showed that when he was at Villarreal, when he was at Sevilla, when he was even PSG, even at Arsenal, he did some good jobs. So I think it's it's a great manager, and obviously he's in a in a great and uh, one of the biggest club in, in England. Is there a specific player, by the way, that you like watching these days that you think, oh, he kind of plays a little bit like I used to play? Is there anybody that you look at? It doesn't have to be the Premier League. It can be anywhere uh, that, that, that no, you like. No, not really. Not really, no. Just you, man. You're just focusing on you. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't compare myself with anyone. <laughs> hey, Christian, do you... I We began this video by me singing the chant about you. You know that chant, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> can you sing it? No, I can't. <laughs> what did you think when you first heard it? <laughs> no, it was funny. It was funny because I remember it was someone... Singing it in the in the car or something in the train. Oh, in the train, yeah, going to again, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Come on, Christian, if I do it, will you join? Huh? I'm bad at singing. But okay, I'm maybe good at, I'm good at watching people sing. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> There's a strike. Oh, it's, it's one of the best chants ever, Christian Benteke. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a good song, to be fair. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis, and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.